much time do I have? Is it 16 minutes? Okay. <clears throat> Hello and welcome back to take number 30. You got it. I am like, I, I just, oh my gosh. I have done so many videos for this, for this episode. So many takes, so many tries. It's just, it's annoying. So I'm just going to do it now and it's just going to be done with. Um, so I like, I have this, I guess, what would you call it? Uh, a theme to my, to my channel where I like to take the older, the not so popular cameras and show that they're still fantastic, that you still take fantastic quality photos. You don't have to spend a ton of money on, on a camera to take magnificent photos. Like you don't have to buy a Leica, you don't have to buy the contacts, you don't have to buy the, the, the high end, um, you know, like uh, Nikon cameras and stuff like that. They're all fantastic. They're great cameras, but it doesn't mean you're going to shoot better. It doesn't mean you're going to take better photos. Um, doesn't necessarily mean the quality is going to be better in your photo. What it means is that maybe the mechanicals of those cameras work better and maybe there's some functionalities that are on there that other cameras don't have that are nice to have, but it doesn't mean that you're going to be a better person taking photos. So like example right here, Canon QL 17, this isn't an expensive camera. Um, I would say it's more expensive than a lot of the, a lot of the stuff that I, I kind of show lately. Um, but anyway, these range anywhere from about 100 to 150, sometimes maybe even $200, just depending. And they're fantastic cameras. They, they, do, a, they do a great job. Um, but today, I want to talk about this guy's little brother, or little bigger brother, or however you want to call it. It's the Canonet QL19. Now, this I bought for five bucks. And I'm not kidding. It's not one of those jokes. I bought this for five bucks. And it's in the most pristine shape of a camera that I've ever purchased. This thing looks like it came straight out of the box from the manufacturer. Uh, the, the leatherette is still sharp and crisp. It hasn't been worn down from use at all. Everything on this was absolutely perfect. Now, you're probably not gonna find one of these for five bucks. Chances are, I got lucky. Uh, but they range about 40 bucks. I, I seen some for about 25 to $40 on eBay and it's a fantastic camera. And the reason that's fantastic, because if you're gonna like compare this, really the, the, the best comparison that I can do with this is comparing it to like a Yashica. And this is an Electro 35 GSN, because they're both about the same size. They both have 45 millimeter uh, focal lengths. They both have co uh, copal lenses and shutter systems on them. And they both have an automatic mode. Now, where the Yashica, it's always automatic. It's always aperture priority. The Canonet is not. It's a shutter priority, but it's also fully manual. So that means that you don't have to go automatic with this camera at all. You can go fully manual, which is a nice feature. It is a nice feature because there are times where going fully manual to get the type of photo that you want is better than going with like an aperture priority. Um, but if you do want to just put this in automatic, you just pretty much set your shutter to the speed that you want, and this makes the adjustments for you, which is nice. So if you wanna be quick about it and just kind of snap shots off, snap photos, just you just put it in auto and you go. Pretty simple. But as with these, and as with the cameras I've shown you before, they all take fantastic photos. There's nothing wrong with these. Nothing wrong with these at all. They're just not popular. Now. The QL17 happens to be kind of a, a very popular legendary camera, um, but they're not expensive, but still more expensive than what I'm talking about here. And it doesn't take better photos at all. Yes, it has an f1.7 aperture on it, where this has an f1.9, that's 40 millimeter, this is 45 millimeter. So the differences are actually pretty close. Now, one thing that I will say that I really like even more about this is, of course, the, the form factor. I like the little bit bigger of the camera, but this is also uh, takes a 55 millimeter uh, filter, which is nice because that's a, a pretty common filter size is 55 millimeter, you know, 55 millimeter, 55 millimeter. This is like, I think 49 millimeters. So 
it's a little oddball on that, which is not a big deal, but being able to, to use your filters across a wider range of cameras is a nice feature. So anyway, I'm just gonna jump straight to it, not waste your time anymore. And I'm gonna jump out to a festival that I'm having here in town, and I'm gonna take some photos and see how it turns out. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't want to be creepy. 